introducing a b testing to your online shop is my my last and one of my favorite growth marketing tactics uh, that i would give you to double your e-commerce conversion rate imagine you were able to show people like 50 percent of the people see like animated images in your in your product views and the other one just sees static images and you really want to test this hypothesis that it's worth to animate your product pictures but you're not sure because it's a lot of work then you can do with a b testing this test on just a single product and then send people to the same url and a b testing software will will split the traffic and show you which version makes more money for you or has the better e-commerce conversion rate or the lowest cost per acquisition or the highest customer lifetime value that's all possible one specific questions i wanted to to use this as an example is does the express checkout option work uh, that is a question i regularly hear then what kind of express checkout options should i have because the main option just to initiate the checkout that actually sees looks like the yeah even like a like an afterthought like tsukasa means like um go to the checkout but there are four other options for quick checkouts and it depends on which device you are um, then you can see different uh, different options here so how would we do that how would we set up a test that proves that those extra checkout options are actually worth it and are not actually harming us yeah or are they improving something usually the hypothesis is that express checkout is helping us but does it what you have to do in a b testing is that you actually have to implement the express checkout and then you hide it how do you do that you have this set up as your default experience for everybody without an a b test they would see the express checkout and then as a as a little cheat code you go into your google optimize that i talked about setting up in uh, two videos before and there you can simply hide that segment you can just mark it on the screen and then hide it hide all of those elements and then you see this version yeah where the bottom content goes up and this is this is a nice way how to even a b test complex uh, technical stuff you have to implement it first and then make the test by by hiding it because a b testing uh, in shopify can be pretty difficult in the checkout area because it's actually on a different domain than your normal shop i put in a nice um, tutorial on how to input it there uh, this site get getelevar.com is also a very good resource for e-commerce conversion rate optimization if we want to do this with google optimize again what we have to do this time is to start a new experiment but instead of the banner template we choose the top option the a b testing one this creates this experiment sheet and you have to add a new variant which is the blue button after you do, do that you can now decide how you want to weigh those different versions do you want to give like 30 percent of traffic to the original and 70 percent to the test or do you want to have it the other way around you want to be a bit more careful because you have lots of shop visitors and you only want to show to 10 percent of the people you can you can decide this here and then you you get this overlay yeah uh, i used the example of my workshop landing page again here we we see this overlay and i can just press on the price 7500 and i want to try this experiment what if i show it as three times 2500 is that more efficient than telling people this costs seven and a half thousand i'm not sure about that and this I got a lot of feedback for the landing page and this was one of the most talked about topic should i have pricing at all or how should i phrase my pricing as you can see i'm not changing the absolute numbers that can be a bit dangerous but i can change the way i i display that now i just changed it in google optimize i didn't write any line of code you can do it on a customly developed uh, online store you can do it on shopify you can do it on woocommerce whichever store you like again this is not rocket surgery at all it's simply going along with what the tool tells you to do next 
the last thing that you want to do is define the primary objective of your experiment because this tool has to make a decision who the winner is. Is the 7,500 price better or the three times two and a half thousand? What I want to do, for example, is measure the number of transactions happening on, on the website, the number of workshop calls started or scheduled calls. You can use your Google Analytics objectives straight in Google Optimize for that. It's very convenient. And then afterwards, you, you let it run for a couple of weeks or days, depending on how much traffic you have. For me, it's definitely running it for weeks. You can see the difference now between the original version and the, the experimental version. And if you have multiple experiments, you can also see that. In this case, the newer version was worse in this report. This is not the current slide to the experiment I showed you because the results were not sufficient enough to show a good graph. So this is from the support Google domain. And we talk about this kinds of shenanigans all the time. If you're curious about that, join us on our YouTube, hit sub, and we will fill you up with more growth marketing tactics just like that. So that's it. That is introducing a B testing to your online shop. Today, a bit of a more compact session, but I thought as a final overview, I didn't want to put more in, make it more technically complicated than it is. Because most of this stuff, you have to click through for yourself. You have to do the installation. And the official documentation is so well done that you will hardly have a problem. And the implementation is so different for a WooCommerce store than a Shopify store than a Shopware store that it's not worth going into too much detail there. It's all doable, I promise. If you can install Google Analytics, you can install Google Optimize.